Hello Gunslingers and Hunters. In this video I want to explain the steady hand trade to you. Weapons sway gradually the sense when you are looking through the scope of a pistol or a stockless weapon. If you are using a pistol with a scope or a weapon without a stock, it will reduce the sway of the weapon while you are aiming, like the steady aimability. But I think this description is a bit misleading and is often misunderstood by other hunters. However, before I explain to you why steady hand is mostly misunderstood, we need a little digression into the theory of weapon technology. Look, this is a picture of the construction of an old rifle, which shows the different parts of a weapon. This is a barrel. It is the part of the weapon that hangs in-game mostly out of the wall and will be responsible for your death. You hit it? Ah! However, let's focus on the stock for now. The stock is a part of a rifle which attached the fire mechanism and the barrel. Furthermore, it holds against the shooter's shoulder when firing the gun and support the aiming and handling of the weapon. Here an example with the modern weapon. This is a regular AK with a stock. And this is AK without a stock. A stockless AK. There is no support for your shoulder, you have only a grip for your hand. Now back to hand showdown and steady hand. The steady hand ability can only be used with three weapons. The Springfield Compact Dead Eye as a pocket sniper. You can see that the Springfield has a shorter barrel and in addition there is no stock for your shoulder. You only have a grip for your hand. The second weapon, the Winfield Vandal Dead Eye, with the same construction. Lastly, the Nagant Dead Eye. And this is the weapon that causes many hunters to misinterpret the steady hand ability. I mean, yeah, it's a pistol with a scope. However, it also has a stock, so it's not a stockless weapon, but it still works with steady hand. Can you spot the issue? I've seen many hunters equip these laser heroes with steady hand ability. The officer carbine only works with steady aim, because it is seen as a rifle. But not the Nagant Dead Eye. Also, I have seen hunters use steady hand on the Mosinagan Opress. Sure, this gun doesn't have a stock, but it also has no scope. And steady hand doesn't work on iron sights. If you compare the Nagan Dead Eye to the Nagant Carbine, you will quickly notice that the only visual difference between them is the longer barrel. So, what's missing? It is the crucial information in the description to understand how steady hand works. Maybe they have add something like this. Here is the comparison when you are aiming with steady hand and without the ability. It's no secret that any two slot weapon will be swinging like Shakira's hips in one of her music videos. However, this ability is really effective. And here you can see the difference between both supporting abilities. I think the steady hand ability is a bit more effective than the steady aim ability. However, this ability is really effective, but makes no sense for all of these three weapons that you can use for. You can't do headshots over 100 meters with the Winfield and the Nagant Dead Eye, but this is possible with the Springfield Compact Dead Eye because you have a beyond effective range and you can see it is more than necessary at this distance. So I would recommend to you use this ability on the Springfield. 
as a little tip, you can punch a perk name into the arsenal search bar and it will be filters the weapons by the effects. 